we have learned how to add two digit numbers by using the hundreds number chart. We've learned how to add two digit numbers by using pictures. And today we're going to learn how to uh, add two digit numbers by using place value. We know how to use place value because we've used it before. What it goes in, um, what place is in the left side? The tens place, you are exactly right. What place is on the right side? Ones, you are very right. Okay, so the tens place and the ones place. Now, whenever we've done that before, we've stayed nice and organized. All my extra ones only go on my right side. All my tens only go on the left side. So that's exactly how we're going to do it today. But we are going to add more. So we might be adding 33 and 13. Oops, I'm sorry. That's not 13. 11. Okay. So we're going to add all of our tens together. Haven't we done that before? And then all of our ones together. Okay. So I want you to get out your top colorful page. The first number I want you to write or draw, I'm sorry, up here at the top. The next number I want you to do a quick draw down here on the bottom part. Cameron has 30 shiny pennies. And 25 dull pennies. How many pennies does Cameron have? What did we do? What did we draw first? What did you say? Okay, how did you draw 30? Three what? Three lines or three tens. Very good. Am I done with the number 30 now? No? Yes. Yes, I am because how many extra ones do I have? Zero. Zero. Very good. So, what do I do next? Okay, why? Okay, very good. I'm glad that she brought up that we need to stay nice and organized. So I put it down below, so I know I'm starting my new number. So I put two tens because my next number is 25. So now my tens is done. So what do I have to put over here? How many? You are exactly right. I need to put five, my five extra ones so that I have the number 25. Okay. Now, how can I find the sum of 30 plus 25? Okay, very good. We could look at our hundreds number chart. We could do that. What's another strategy we could do? Okay. Okay, so we could use our picture and we're going to count the tens first. So I have five tens and how many extra ones? Five. So that will help us with our number. And today we are going to do 
our place value. So we have 50 plus 25. So it's basically the same thing, except we're using our place value with pictures. So we basically did this yesterday, but we're adding our place value to it. So yesterday, did we add all of our tens together first? Yes. Didn't he just say to do that with our picture? To add all of our tens together first? Hey, do you see how my five and my two are in my tens place? Did I keep it nice and organized and I stacked them exactly like my pictures? So, what is five plus two equal? I'm sorry. Oh, Mrs. Jonker. It's not 50. What number is this? It's 30. Okay, so let's try this again. 30 plus 25. Okay, so what am I going to add together? My 10 place. See how both of these numbers are in the tens place? I'm going to add my tens together. Okay. So now, 3 plus 2 equals what? Very good. So I put my 5 in that tens place because we're going to stay north and organized, right? I added my tens together, so now I'm going to put it in my tens. Now I'm going to add what together? My, my five and my zero. I'm going to add my ones together. So, zero plus five equals what, sir? Five. You're exactly right. So, I have this number. What is my answer for straight? How can I check myself as mathematicians? Count what? I times my ones. Where are I times my ones? How am I going to check myself? Um, okay, I'm going to look at my picture. Ready? Is that what number I came up with? Turn your paper over, please. Okay, it looks like a lot, but I'm going to. It's for you. I'm going to stay organized. Oh, yeah. We cannot skip ahead a couple of steps and do that step first and then go back because it's really confusing. Some of us saw that yesterday. We got a little confused, but if you do it in order, then it's not as confusing. What am I going to draw first? My tens, how many? How many? Three. Three. Go ahead and draw your tens. Am I done? No. What do I have to do next? Okay, very good. So draw your five ones, please. Now what am I going to do? Are we going to draw our ones? We're going to um, draw 38 now. So right below that, I'm going to draw 38. Uh-oh. What do I notice? What do you notice? Yeah, the tenth place is the same, but what did we work on yesterday? That I'm going to have to do. Um, that you circle ten of the ones. Very good. We need to circle ten of the ones because I have too many in my ones place. 
So make sure that you circle ten. Okay, so I'm going to add my I'm going to add my tens place first. Do you see how they move the tens place over here? And so now I'm going to add going down. So I have three tens and three more tens, which equals what? First grade? Six. So please write your answer six. And we're going to keep going down. Six tens equals what number? Sixty. So am I done with my tens now? No. What else do I have to do? Now I need to go to my ones. So am I done with my tens for now? Yes, I am. So now I'm going to add my ones place. It goes over here. Okay, see the five and the eight? What is five plus eight equal? First grade? Thirteen. Thirteen, very good. And then I'm going to just keep going down. And what am I going to do again? Thirteen. Do you see first grade? How I kept all of my tens together and I just kept going down. Did you see how I kept all of my ones together and I just kept going down? Does anyone see that? Do you see how we stayed nice and organized? I did my tens first and then I did my ones. Now that I've gotten to the bottom, now I can add these two together. See that? So, 60 plus 13 equals 73. Now, first grade, there are several strategies I could help me figure out 70 plus 13. What are they? I mean, 60 plus 13, you are right. Thank you for correcting me. What can I do to find out what 60 plus 13 equals? What have we done in math so far? Let's figure that out. We could count our picture, okay? So, whenever I see this, what am I going to say? Ten. Ten. Okay, are you ready? Ten. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three. Is that what number we came up with? Awesome. We could check ourselves, mathematicians, by counting our picture. How else can we figure out what sixty plus thirteen equals? We've already done that. What's another strategy that we learned in math that we could do? No, we're not adding more numbers. What did we use for straight? Our hundreds number chart. What number are we going to start on? Thirteen. And how many are we, are we going to go inside or across, or are we going to go down? Down. Why? Because it's a three. Okay. And there's a zero at the end. How many are we going to go down? Six. Six. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six. What number did we land on? Is that how we can check our answer? Okay, very good. Let's go down here. What are we going to draw first? 81. So draw 81 right here, please. Stay nice and organized. Now what am I going to draw? 14. Draw 14 down here. Stay nice and 